part of it stems from our worldview that we are holistic, and in holistic, that often means uh, cross sectoral, cross jurisdiction issues. Uh, that we were looking at physical, mental, emotional, and, and spiritual well being. That in, no, nobody has a market on a single one of those elements uh, in a community. And it was important uh, that uh, since we were looking at at community-based health, at you know, almost 800 people, uh, First Nations people here in Hamilton South, uh, that we ask all of the questions, we look as broad-based as we could, and that meant that we needed, uh, when we were looking at children, the people who were involved in primarily children's services, and youth, and, and adults, and seniors, uh, people who were in need of a variety of social supports, and perhaps interventions, and uh, you know who were housed or, or homeless or, or who were you know young and old this, this sort of spectrum. It also is always important as part of a, I think an indigenous worldview around health that as broad a base of people as uh, as you can involve, you should involve, and those people are reflected by many organizations in this city. So we attempted to uh, to encourage them to be involved in and to continue the collaboration that I think has existed in Hamilton for a long time. In Hamilton's development, there have been lots of interagency collaboration. There have been very long histories. I think it's imperative that people are involved in this kind of research, that they have a long view. They have a real sense of vision and of community health and where they want to go. I think that people who try to come in in the middle of processes and don't have a vision, don't say, here's where we're headed for, spend a lot of time creating their relationships. And this project didn't have a whole bunch of time. You, you needed to have relationships. You needed to uh, had trust with each other. Uh, they had to make a decision about who would lead the project, and the health center ended up being selected to do that. They needed uh, to make sure that uh, there was broad-based community support, because in involving you know, almost 900 people, they were going to look and say, hey, is this a legitimate exercise? And uh, so I think those are all elements that are important for collaboration. They're all elements that are important, certainly, for success. We all have a role to play. Uh, the status quo is clearly not acceptable. And we found um, huge disparities in urban First Nation health in Hamilton. And simply, none of us can afford for that situation to continue to exist. And it's going to take um, creativity and commitment and, uh, and working together uh, to carry the load forward and to create change.